Nicole, what do you think it is shooting here? Ah, uh, Megan, how's it going? Thank you all so much for tuning in, Robert Broca. <laughs> Nicole, that's a lot of pressure. All right, uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. Um, if you guys saw the um, little test I was doing a bit earlier, I just moved. I just moved my my whole office. Now I'm in a whole different uh, sort of location. So I just wanted to make sure that all the acoustics are working together. Thank you so much, Megan. Robert, thanks for tuning in. Lex McKee, thank you so much for tuning in. And <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. And Charles Turner, how are you going, my man? I see you've been hanging out with the greats in the industry. That's really good to see. Guys, my name is Prosper Tarovinga. In case this is your first time ever tuning me, tuning... Jeez, it's a Monday. I can't even sprag and All right, yeah. Cool. So my message basically is to help digital marketers like yourself uh, to scale your business, to market your business so that you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Normally when we finish talking in these 30 minute segments, I will leave you, um, you know, either in a position to earn a lot more money with less struggle. Okay. And today we just basically talking about momentum, which is, um, you know, what is happening today being a Monday, etc., etc. And, uh, we've got Nicole. No, I can't do 45 minutes. My love Megan tuning in you, your guitar. Ha ha. Oh yeah. <laughs> you mean I don't, it's called a water mouth. I can't stop talking. Maybe if I use one of these, <laughs> if I use one of these, speaking of which, okay, so today we're talking about momentum. Can somebody tell me what they think this little machine is and what it does? Can you actually tell me what this little machine is called? I know I have it, but it's, it's not like one of the things that I use in my business. First of all, um, this machine needs to be constantly charged. And second of all, you got to keep pressing it. All right. And I'm also hiding their name because I'm not endorsing their brand, but you got to keep pressing it here. Yeah. So that it does whatever it does. Yes. Robert says it's an electric screwdriver. Nicole says it's an electric screwdriver. Yep. Okay. And the traditional one is one of these where you actually do it manually. Now today we're talking about momentum. And as you have seen about that little screwdriver, First, it has to be kept charged. And second of all, you got to keep pressing for you to get the ultimate, um, you know, outcome, which is usually getting a screw through so that it holds things together. Okay. Now, a lot of us are not doing that to hold our businesses together. A lot of us are not thinking far ahead to charge the little screwdriver so that you go through all your work with one single charge. Does that all sort of come together in, in, in one little, um, little, you know, illustration there? What we're doing is we're just doing maybe enough to get by, but we're not actually keeping ourselves in, in, in the same momentum so that we go through whether it's a Monday, a Tuesday, a Wednesday, a Thursday or a Friday. We're not keeping the same pace for our customers so that they know who we are as a brand so that they can buy from us or so that they can share our stuff. All right. People are tired of one click wonders. We're not putting ourselves in front enough. We're not charging ourselves and we're not holding on enough or we're not thinking that far ahead. And that's one thing, my friend, that's actually stopping you from actually, you know, you know, going ahead in your business. It's not the strategy. It's not the, the lights. It's not all of those things that you might anticipate, um, you know, are needed. Steve Brossman, thank you so much for tuning in. It's the, it's the movement. If you keep moving further, whatever small thing you're doing to connect with your audience, to build that audience and to actually laugh with that audience, it makes you a step further than somebody who's not doing anything. All right. The one thing about the online space right now is Facebook or all other platforms. They're making it harder and harder for people to be poor these days. You've got Facebook Live, you've got, um, I think LinkedIn now has a video platform. You've got all these other platforms that you can actually create and relate to the people that you're going to be asking money off of. But are we doing that? 
We are just anticipating that if we put out an ad or if we put out, um, you know, some sort of a status, people are going to come back to us. There's a lot of work that you've got to do in order to relate to the people that you're working with right now. All right. So what sort of steps have you done or are you doing or are you going to, you know, indulge in throughout the week so that you consistently are in motion? Yeah. For this to happen, I should have charged this overnight and I also should continuously press the button. Okay, this one that's on here so that the beat can actually work to, um, you know, get us the out ultimate outcome that we want, which is screwing a screw in. But some of us are just hoping that you just show up on your Facebook status without having given people any value, without even... Um, let people know what it is that you, you, you do and what you can offer. All right. Sometimes you also really just got to dream extra big so that, you know, when, when, when you, when you then grow into that person, your customers, your clients are already anticipating that. Kaz, thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, I, I, it's, it's, it's quite funny. You get to see me at work today. Okay. So, Half the time, don't allow thoughts of you being small today or whatever it is that you're going through right now to limit you from what you're possibly going to be. It is a Monday today. A lot of us have got what is called Mondayitis. And sometimes we worry a lot about where we're headed. We worry a lot about what our customers are going to think of us, but we don't do anything to bring them any closer to us. You know? Don't allow any thought to enter your mind where you are today so that it makes you decide what you're going to be tomorrow. People are watching 24-7 is now what this world has become. You know, what are you doing to incorporate everybody else to, to let them know that you've got them? What are you doing for you to, 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 to wake up in the morning with the momentum knowing that you've got work to do? Because if you're not being booked, if you're not being hired by your customers, how are you going to get work? How are you showing them that you're the person that can help them with whatever it is that you're doing? Where are you headed? All right. So sometimes we, we might forget, you know, what it is that we're actually supposed to be doing. The most important thing you have to be doing within your business is building an audience, relating to that audience. And after you've related to that audience, make sure that every single time, whenever you get an opportunity, you create with them and then you can be able to sell to them. All right. So at the end of the day, sometimes we're just limiting ourselves because we, are, we just want results pronto. We're not letting any strategy play itself out. You're limiting yourself. Do you know what I mean? From reaching your full potential by actually not doing any work or not giving yourself room to, to improve. All right. So I asked a question over the weekend. Um, do you ever give yourself time to brag or to look at what sort of, um, you know, accolades or what you've achieved? Do you ever give yourself time to do that? That's also one other thing that gives you momentum. Do you know what I mean? If you give yourself time to actually, you know, be excited about the things that you've achieved, to be excited about where you're headed and to get people involved in what you're actually doing, because nobody wants to follow somebody who's headed nowhere. So you want to show your prospects that you've got the future in mind. You know, if you're not where you are right now, professionally um, or personally, there's always a temptation to dampen the ambition that you might have. And in fact, others may actually advise you to go conservative with your with your dreams or to soften the blow just so that you you fit into their own mold of what's supposed to be uh, in life. But if you really, really set your big goals and you, it ensures that you will actually reach them, that's the one thing because you grow into them. And when you start bragging, it gives you that momentum, you know, that I've done it so it can be done again. All right. Historically, we all know that people that have achieved quite a lot in life are the ones that set out and do things against all odds. 
But how are you going to consistently remind yourself that you're capable of doing that by when you're not even bragging or actually giving yourself a pat in the back that you have, um, you know, achieved certain things that have now gotten you to where you are right now. Those are the sort of things that give you momentum. Everyone else that's around you probably has tried something or they have failed. But then that doesn't define where you are supposed to go. And don't let that define where your energy or your momentum goes. Yeah? Everybody that I know, and especially yourself, you're going to need something that steers you. Especially once you get to the top. Because there's not going to be a lot of people that would know what it is that you're doing unless you explain it to them. And you need clarity. With that clarity, there, you're not going to have people supporting your cause. And that makes you lose momentum. So you have to be clear where you are leading anyone else to. You have to be clear what your purpose is. You have to be clear what your intentions are and what calls to action you're going to be asking off of people. Yep. James, thanks for tuning in, man. Hope you've been well. When was the last time you, you went out to, to sort of achieve something and then you started getting the chills or, you know, you know just maybe, you know, jelly legs and you, you were really afraid of getting something? It happens to us all the time. But if you go ahead, the moment you stop fearing success, the more you will actually start achieving a great, um, a great deal of stuff. And days like Mondays would not even become relevant to you. You know? The reason why some people really get intimidated by Mondays is <clears throat> they, they don't plan ahead. And when you don't plan ahead, you panic and you're not prepared. Sometimes if you really got a, 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 a compelling vision and, and you, 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 you know you've done something like that before, you, all you do is just put in the faith that it's going to happen. And it will help you navigate through the, the routes that you may not have gone before. And, and the power of what you've done before would propel you and give you the momentum. You know, it's like riding a bike. The first time you start riding a bike, you're not sure what, what you're supposed to be doing. Are you paddling or are you, um, you, know, you know, letting it move with your feet, etc., etc. But then... The moment you know how to do it, you just jump on the bike and you do it without even thinking. That's where momentum starts coming in. All right. So in the times that you you are off, you know, you're sitting on the bench and you're waiting for clients to come in, be reading or be preparing your mind and actually making sure that you are, you know, well versed with the subject topic that you talk about. Some people never do anything to enhance the knowledge that they already have. They're just waiting for somebody to come down with a course or something just so that they, um, you know, can learn from them. But you can always be intentional about your results. That's why I asked a little bit earlier on, does it surprise you that you're successful right now? Can you type in the comments there? Are you surprised with the success that you have right now? Sometimes, you know, we, we stop ourselves dead in the tracks because we're not really doing what we're meant to be doing at the time that we're, and we are expected to be doing it. And that's the reason why we lose confidence. We lose the confidence of the people that are around us and the confidence of the people that are actually supposed to be supporting us. When you have a vision, when everything is clear, people would know where they can plug in. People would know where they can help you. But if you don't have that, and also if you don't have the knowledge of what you're supposed to be doing, no one is going to just come in and knock on your house's door and say, hey, listen, Prosper, maybe we should do this. All right. Each, each and every one of us should actually frame their life so that they have, you know, that future hour that they've always been dreaming of. Every single moment should be a moment of preparation. That's why days like Mondays should never exist if you're going to be successful as an entrepreneur. Stephen Seddon, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. You know, you should have certain, um, you know, you know, your anticipations should be all cultivated by your previous experiences and what you want to see off of yourself in the future. No one, no, no one knows what your potential is. 
No one knows what your actual potential is. So you, you, you cutting yourself short by first of all listening to those people that are around you and second of all being lazy. Brad Solomon, thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah? And most of the times we, we might also lose momentum because what we're doing is not relevant. Can you type in the comments there, is what you're doing meaningful? Are you, are you actually serving a purpose? Are you helping people? Are you actually saving people from whatever pain or frustrations that they actually have? Or are you just selling it for the money? Because that's, that's how people lose momentum. If you're doing things that are not meaningful, um, if you're doing things that are not relevant, you won't find purpose or the, the zeal or the power or the tenacity to even go any further. Do you know what I mean? So sometimes, you know, the things that you do today might not look like they're going, um, you know, to the, to the grand scheme of things, but it will propel you to move forward. Some people are just allowing their current uh, position or their current thoughts to dominate their future advancement. Sadly, if you do that, you not achieve much. And Stevens, thank you so much for tuning in. Robert says, I'm getting rid of the part that is no longer meaningful. Oh, yeah, we did have a, we did have a chat the other time. Um, yeah, talking about, yeah, we were talking about uh, you no longer becoming a train driver, right? Let's, let's continue that chat a little bit further, Robert. You know? So, really, guys, sometimes those people that actually make big things happen, they're just accepting where they are today and knowing that where they are is temporary. And Sivas says, I'm building momentum. Three new accounts in two days. That's, that's fantastic. And did that all happen during... Um, did that all happen during the weekend? Yeah. And Nicole says, I was doing audio recording, but it stopped. Yes, that is correct. Oh, okay. Cool. So a lot of people that are doing big things, small things will compound. What you're doing today or where you are today is temporary. If I had decided, if I didn't decide to come around to, to Australia or move from where I was right now, I'll probably be, yeah, stuck in a place not knowing what to do with my future. Where you are is temporary. Okay, don't, you don't have roots. You're not a tree. So don't let your environment or the things that are around you stop you from heading towards your goals. Because if you can't move yourself, how do you expect to move anyone else to follow you? Do you know what I mean? Those people that actually go out and make big things happen, they just don't accept where they are today. And also they refuse to let that be a limiting factor. The world has become a global village. Your people that are in your area, if they're not buying from you, why don't you extend your offering uh, to other people the world over? Do you know what I mean? So, you know, you've got so much control over your destiny than you're giving yourself credit for. You know, and, and the more you climb up, the more people will start taking notice. The world will take notice. Your friends will take notice. But you've got to have a clear vision so that they can be a part of that. All right? Stop focusing on, on the poor energy that is around you and start giving yourself the real energy and momentum that you really need to get ahead. You know, some, some people are just designed to get even and not get ahead. Try and just exceed your own expectations. Because at the end of the day, even if you shoot for the stars, I mean, what do they say? If you shoot for the moon and you fail, you will still land among the stars. Not a lot of people are doing much to, to enhance what they have and enhance, you know, their future by working or even helping those people that they're supposed to be taking money off of. Yeah, you need to understand the power of momentum and how it can work for you. So pretty much, you know, the key to understanding it is we have obstacles in life. Life is hard. We understand that. I've got a two year old kid that gets into everything, breaks everything. But that doesn't stop me from showing up every single day. 
You might have other challenges that might be, you know, in your way. But if you make time to actually go in and leave your purpose, leave your dream, build your audience and actually, you, you know, create and relate for the people that you're going to be anticipating money from. Guys, it will work out. Even the even those people, the, the, the heroes that we worship, they they had to live through their whole lifetimes. The the biggest problem that I find is because we were brought up with um you know watching 30 minute episodes. You would watch Fresh Prince of Ballet, you would watch Seinfeld, or you would watch whatever show on TV, and their whole birth, life, marriage, engagement was all done in a space of 30 minutes, including commercials. But that's not how life is. Life is not a 30 minute episode or a one hour movie. It's a lifetime. So every little thing that you do matters. Every person you talk to matters. Every single thing you write down matters. And Nicole, it was really, really nice talking to you the other day. So bigger. Big, even an elephant can be eaten by an ant, but it takes small bites, bit by bit, up until it eats the whole elephant. All right, even the fastest sports cars, your Tesla doesn't go from zero to a hundred kilometers an hour in, in, in one second. First, it comes to a complete stop, and then it goes to one kilometer per hour, and then it picks up speeds, and then the engine warms up, and then you keep pressing the pedal, and then, you know, that's where the forward momentum then comes in. Just look at yourself, look at your clarity, look at where you're going, and look at how you are being of service. That's all that matters. Because all that matters is the people that come back to you and say, because of you, I did not give up. That's all there is to life. That's all there is to whatever we're selling. Making sure we are being of service to other people. That's what gives you uh, full momentum. That's the reason why I keep asking you this question. Is what you're doing meaningful? Because if you're not learning, if you're not living and you're not contributing to the rest of humanity, then you won't get momentum. You won't be moving. So question yourself. Is what I'm actually doing needed? What will people need me for? And pretty much from those questions, if you keep asking yourself those questions, then you will actually start doing meaningful work that will get you not even questioning if today is a Monday or if it's a Sunday. A lot of us get daunted when we stretch out for a goal because it wasn't meant for us. And that thing was probably not meant to exist in the world. Or it was just given to you through a deceptive Facebook ad. Keep your eyes on the prize, all right? And focus on your, your daily attention and, and, and closing the gap of where you are right now to where you want to be. This is what you need to worry about. The people, the, 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 the resources that you need, all of the rest is smoke and mirrors. And when you have momentum, the power of momentum engages, guys. That's when people actually want to be a part of what you're doing. First it's first steps, and then it's the little hopes, and then it's big lips, and then big lips for humanity. All of the people that you're looking at, they just didn't start where they are today. It's little successories. I call them successories, little victories that they're picking up along the way that it's giving them momentum and it's propelling them. It's just like, um, what do they say? Uh, get the ball rolling or uh, 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 um, what's that thing that gathers moths? They say the thing rolling down the hill gathers moths. Even if you see in the cartoons, if a sm snowball starts when it's just small, it keeps gaining and gaining, getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Do you know what I mean? So that's why I started off with this little thing here. The more you charge it, the more power it has to keep going. And that's the momentum that we need. Yeah? Yeah, exactly. A rolling stone gathers moss. No moss or something. I don't know, but then I think you guys know what I'm talking about. So when you start thinking big, it forces you to become more creative. And, and, and then, you know, you, 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 you work harder. And it gives you a deeper meaning to your, to your life. And you, you get compelled to actually act. 
Most of the people that achieve the biggest goals, look at the people that we celebrate. Thomas Edison, Ni uh, Nikola Tesla, and uh, Elon Musk. All of those people have achieved really, really big things that l people least suspected. We, don't, we never celebrate people that fix people's nails. We never celebrate all those other people that just copy and paste other people's work. Just keep digging into whatever you're doing and knowing that one day it will all come together. And if you do it every single day, you know, you get ready every single day, you, you, people will start taking notice and people will start wanting to be a part of what you're doing. And that's how momentum, um, you know, brings you closer first to your customers and to what your goals actually are in life. Mediocrity or mediocre goals never bring you, give you greatness. If what you're doing right now is not meaningful, if you're not clear about where you're headed, or if you're not clear about what your message is, and if you're, clear, you're not clear about what frustrations or what pains you're solving for people, no one is going to look at your stuff. You need to be clear on what you're hoping to accomplish for your customers and what, what it is that you're hoping to help them with. Nobody cares what you know. They care what you can do for them. Right? So whatever goals you might have, no goal is ever too large for you not to resolve it or put it to work. Your next move right now might, some, might sound very audacious or ambitious to everybody else, but as long as you know you're chipping at it one step at a time, it doesn't matter. You will achieve it. You should always never let where you are today limit you because if you don't believe yourself or if you don't believe you're the person that is capable of actually receiving or actually going through with whatever it is you're working on today, then your work becomes meaningless. For you to gain momentum, you really got to believe in yourself and you really got to believe that you're the one that's going to make whatever you're working on happen. If you don't have that self-belief, if you don't have that courage to keep going even when everything is against you, it will never work. That's the reason why every single time I'm always, always, always letting people know that your life story, all right, your life story and your experience is the only thing you can create a meaningful business out of. That's the reason why a lot of people lose momentum because they are not physically engaged with what they're doing because it's not meaningful enough first to themselves and for the people that they claim they can help. The, the, the one thing is you're here to make a difference, all right? And the best way to do that is to actually package your, your knowledge in whatever subject that you, you, you are well-versed with and then or whatever topic that you actually know and you're confident about and then you put it there to actually help others succeed. If the work that you're doing right now is not helping other people succeed or have a happier existence, that's the reason why you don't have any momentum. So you need to figure out who really needs my product or service. Right? For you to actually really gain momentum. Who actually needs your product or service? Why should they care to get it from you and nobody else? What problems, frustrations, or shortcomings does your product actually address? All of these questions. Why exactly are people going to pay you for this service? Why should people care to work with you and not anybody else or Sally down the road? Michael says he's going to write a book. Congratulations. So you really need to figure out who really needs your product. Is what you're doing meaningful? Do people actually want this product to exist? Does it actually help people be, do, and have a happier existence? That's the reason why you don't have momentum. If you know that what you have, 
is is here to actually help somebody you've got every right to push that product because who are you to stop that person from having a happier existence do you know what i mean so you actually really do get paid in direct proportion to the value that you bring to society if you're not bringing any value nobody's going to want to pay you anything if you're not bringing any value nobody's going to want to hear from you if you're not bringing any value nobody's going to want to share your stuff so you really need to figure out exactly where you are what you're doing and who you do it for and who exactly is going to come back for more of what you're doing that will give you momentum always be creating and relating to the people you're going to be asking money off of because if you just come in and 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 you're not giving any value you just want to take 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 nobody's going to listen to you all right i really want you to succeed and like i always say guys i want you to actually start making real money with less struggle all right i want you to actually love what you're doing and do it with meaning with you know with with, with meaning and, and 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 get recognition within your industry it's that simple build an audience relate to that audience and then you can sell to them that gives you momentum guys in the meantime hope you're going to have a fantastic week thank you so much for everybody else that's supporting me everybody else that's in and around my audience please let me help you um you know with whatever i can uh do to 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 you know help you have a business that's profitable um and enjoyable but whatever it is never let where you are today limit you you got to believe in yourself and you can actually make things happen in the meantime enjoy the rest of your day guys